Welcome to the video. In this session, we will discuss the available models in Abacus Material Library for simulating foam materials. If you wonder which model is the most appropriate for your problem, you must definitely watch these tutorial series. Let's discuss about the foam models in Abacus after the intro. Foams are made up of polyhedral cells that pack in three dimensions. The foam cells can be either open or closed. Common examples of elastomeric foam materials are cellular polymers such as cushions, padding, and packaging materials that utilize the excellent energy absorption properties of foams. Foams are commonly loaded in compression. A typical compressive stress strain curve is shown. Three stages can be highlighted during compression, which are linear elastic, plastic plateau, and densification. First stage occurs at small strains, below 5%. Foam deforms in a linear elastic manner due to cell wall bending. The next stage is a plateau of deformation at almost constant stress, caused by the elastic buckling of the columns or plates that make up the cell edges or walls. In this stage, the volume is considerably reduced. Finally, a region of densification occurs, where the cell walls crush together, resulting in a rapid increase of compressive stress. In this stage, the volume does not change. A typical tension stress strain curve is shown. There are two stages during tension. At small strains the foam deforms in a linear, elastic manner as a result of cell wall bending similar to that in compression. The cell walls rotate and align, resulting in rising stiffness until fracture occurs. Important Notes At small strains for both compression and tension, the average experimentally observed Poisson's ratio of foams is one-third. At larger strains it is commonly observed that Poisson's ratio is effectively zero during compression, though it is non-zero during tension. Now let's dive into Abacus built-in material properties for foams. There are two types of model in the Elastic Mechanical Properties branch of material library of Abacus, named as Hyperfoam and Low Density Foam. There is also a model in the Inelastic Mechanical Properties section, named as Crushable Foam Plasticity. Each of them has unique features and tips that need to be considered while using them. For instance, Hyperfoam model can be used for foam materials, which exhibits large volumetric changes, up to 90% in compression. While Abacus Explicit provides a low-density foam model, which is intended to capture the strain rate-sensitive behavior of low-density elastomeric foams such as used in crash and impact applications. In following, the capability of available models in Abacus for simulating foam materials will be discussed in brief. Hyperfoam model is suitable for elastomeric foam material model, which is both isotropic and nonlinear. The main use for it is instances where there are large volumetric changes, in compression up to 90% strain. Though, it is purely elastic, thus not suitable for foams, which undergo permanent deformation. Geometric nonlinearity must be accounted for during the analysis step. You can include energy dissipation and stress softening effects in hyperfoam model, which is optional. Important note. This model should not be used for approximately incompressible materials, i.e. materials with effective Poisson's ratio greater than 0.45. This model can be applied to model polymeric foam materials, soft tissues, and similar materials. To use hyperfoam model, you can specify the required material properties directly or provide experimental stress strain test data and allow the abacus to calculate them. The second model, which is low density foam, is mainly intended for low density, highly compressible elastomeric foams, which have significant rate sensitive behavior. The model requires concrete specification of uniaxial stress strain curves for both compression and tension at different strain rates. Geometric nonlinearity must be accounted for during the analysis step. In default, this model assumes the Poisson's ratio of the material to be zero, 
The non-zero Poisson effects can be specified through including lateral strain data. Allows for the specification of optional unloading stress strain curves for better representation of the hysteretic behavior and energy absorption during cyclic loading. Important note. The model does not include negative Poisson's ratio. You can simulate rupture of foam under tension in Abacus Explicit using this model. Low-density foam model can be applied to model low-density polymeric foam materials, especially polyurethane foam. Another class of foam materials is crushable foams, which undergo permanent deformation. Crushable foam model is intended for the analysis of crushable foams that are typically used as energy absorption structures. Can be used to model crushable materials other than foams. Is used to model the enhanced ability of a foam material to deforming compression due to cell wall buckling processes. Can be used to model the difference between a foam material's compressive strength and its much smaller tensile strength must be used in conjunction with the linear elastic material model can be used when rate dependent effects are important is intended to simulate material response under essentially monotonic loading important note only linear isotropic elasticity can be used for the elastic part of the response crushable foam model can be applied to model polymer foam core sandwich panels rigid polyurethane foam synthetic bone materials, and crushable materials like balsa wood. Detailed discussion on each model will be presented in the future videos. If you are interested on simulating foam materials using Abacus software, please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Don't forget to visit our site for more related products. Have a great time!